Where are all the kittens? Alice and Mox Cat had three kittens. They were funny and pretty. And Alice and Mock loved playing with them. One was black and white, one was ginger, and one was tabby. The kittens played around their mother's feet all day long, getting into all sorts of mischief and play fighting with each other. When they were tired, tired, they curled up together and slept. One day, Mark and Alice went out with their mummy, leaving the kittens in the kitchen with their mother. After a Good walk. Mark and Alice came in hungry for their tea, but the minute they stepped through the door, they knew something was wrong. What's happened? Said Mummy, looking worried. The kitchen was in a mess, and the mother cat was walking up and down, meowing sadly. All sorts of things were all over the floor: a basket, some papers, a soft toy rabbit, and some apples. The worst thing that the three kittens were nowhere to be seen. Where were the kittens? Oh, mummy," said Alice. "Something's wrong. Look, there's things all over the floor, and the kittens are missing. What's happened to them? Do you think the fox might have come in and carried them off?" "I wouldn't think so," said Mummy, looking worried. "But it does look like as if something big in here has come and messed around. Look at that basket on the floor, and all those papers." All this time, the mother cat was meowing and meowing. I know you're worried, Mark told her. We're worried too. We don't know where your kittens are, but we'll try to find them. Alice, go and see if a window is open," said Mummy. "I'll look in the garden." Mark, will you pick up the things off the floor? Mark started to tidy the kitchen. If the kittens had gone outside, they might be lost. And how would they know how to come home again? He picked up the basket and suddenly gave a shout. Mummy and Alice came running, and they all looked at the floor. They were curled up in a tight bundle where the basket had been with the three kittens. I found the kittens," said Mark, "and I think I found who made the mess too." The end.